Hello everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, and this is the map as we see it. So, we are still the Texan Economic Union with us... I actually didn't create Louisiana yet, but that's alright. With New Mexico, who is basically controlled by Lanius' cohort, because that was probably the biggest unifier so far in New Mexico that I found. And as well as we have the Warden, who owns pretty much the right spots of Colorado that we currently own as well. And to make sure things don't happen uncool like I gave them cores on Colorado because I just want to make the Colorado states and if they have and they don't have cores on this they might release other nations maybe maybe not I don't want them to release more nations because I want to have big old state blocks so uh yeah we're looking pretty good uh let's see the warden's focus tree now they can't do riches of the box or hello America because warden has to be the leader or bears of steep but they still have focuses they can do which is pretty cool Let's see, and Lanius Cohort, Lessons of the Hangdogs, they're pretty much done with their focus tree as well. Let's see, they can still do Give the Two Pads with a New Purpose, or Get the Two Pads with a New Purpose. Uh, the Fate of the Roller Girls, hopefully they don't take anything from us, hopefully. I'm making up cores on that. I don't, I don't really care, as long as we own it. And I can't do the Plunder of Lone Star because I need to control Lone Star, but here we are anyways. Let's go, and do, go ahead and do another focus with our Constitution, and we have a lot of comms to get through as well. But let's do Immigration. Many Wastelanders are moving to Texas in search of a better life. Let us formalize the process for these Wastelanders to become citizens of the Lone Star Republic. Very cool. So, this is how we look like. We own a little bit of uh, Oklahoma up here, but that's just because I'm going to wait until... Actually, it's only really this tile. Uh, wait until we actually go to war with these guys. Right now, though, I believe we're pretty much trying to do our constitution, and then I do want to go to war with uh, Santa Ana. Excuse me, I sneezed here. Oh my goodness. Oh, watch out for spies. Become a spy master. At this point, we might as well, right? We are a spy master. In which now, let's go ahead and grab the freedom of religion. Uh, there's an oddly been a vigorous debate about the Constitution's guarantee of freedom of religion. The old Constitution b barred office to atheists. But some from Austin think this is absurd. Are we not a modern civilization? We'll see what happens. Let's see, Mojave Territories, Kaiser's Legion, now, they, they did technically lose Lanius' co cohort to us, so we probably want to kill them. Uh, I want to get through these focuses quickly, just so that we can start focusing on Santa Ana. Let's see, actually, what do we have down here? Don't mess with Texas. Manifest Destiny. I do want to get down there pretty quickly. So we get Justify World Goes Times minus 15%. If anything, actually, uh, do we have anything with Santa Ana? Or Mexico? Or Azure Cito? No, maybe not. Freedom of religion, we probably have to manually justify them. So be it. Oh, we get a 10% reduction in coin cost. That's pretty good. Breaking shackles. Those who formerly resided over pieces of United Texas bound our citizens. Though they wish to continue this exploitation, such violations of rights will not stand. Cool. An amendment slide to the Declaration of Rights of Man and Others. Actually, I should probably kick you guys out too. But with our current army, we are training quite a bit. We're doing pretty well. Uh, let's see. I, how many divisions do... Um, oh, actually, they don't have cores on this. We could probably... They are currently at war. It takes 110 days. We could probably do pretty well against them. They are fighting Moctezuma. And Moctezuma actually might be winning right now. But hey, you never know. Moctezuma, how are you doing? I got plenty of manpower. Yeah, they got quite a few divisions, so if we actually double... Force these guys on a two-front war. We, they might actually do pretty well, but the Nueva Atlanta is doing pretty well as well. We're going to get 1.88 political power a day. We're breaking the shackles. We've got three days left. We're watching out for spots, which we'll do once we do the next one with convention of the 25th of January, 2282. Or does that actually... 24th, 27th January. So it, it, it changes as time goes on, too. Add an amendment to the declaration. Cool. Grab you. And George Beal. Cool. Grab, deploy units. Oh, yeah, we have more infantry, which is great. Love the infantry. And actually, let me change this. Because this was one of the comps from yesterday. I forgot to change Rapid Response Corps division name to Texas Highway Patrolman. That's much better. Cool. I-20 Patrolman. We actually might rank... Eh, patrol. Hmm. I-20. Servicemen. Patrolman, servicemen. I will go with servicemen because it makes it a little different for us. Because I don't want to have two things called Texas Rangers. That wouldn't be very cool. Former department. Cool. CQC training. Let's go ahead and grab some of this. More oh, 5% more reinforcer. It's not bad at all. Uh, special forces, you guys come right here. Yeah, at this point, I do want to go to War with Pecos Colony. Are we justifying on them? No, we're not. We're justifying on these guys down here. Which shouldn't take too long. Yep. Yeah, another 90 days. That's not bad. 90 days is not bad. Anything here? No. Anything here? Two days. Automation. That'll be good. So, one of the first comments was that someone recommends that I play as Caucasia. I'm not sure in what campaign I'll play as Caucasia, but someday, 
someday, sure, why not? Let's go, let's go to here, and then form the TBR now. We're gonna, weeks to months. Texas Constitutional Convention Extensions Desk. Article, Equality and Uniformity of Taxation. The Constitution twice. Article 4, Subsection Taxation of Residents. Mandated Funding for the Army. Emergency Relief Funding. Cool, why not? Why not? Direct ground support, don't mind if we do. Let's grab some more of this. More air support mission efficiency. Very good, very, very, very good. Another comment was, I should, instead of building infrastructure, I should build, like, other things just because eventually we... Let's keep doing that. We'll get these decisions eventually, so... I think someone said we get, like, four free infrastructure in a lot of states or something like that, so... National Spirit, the Texas... Oh, what is that? Uh, broadcasting Service, plus 20% weekly... 20% political power gain, 25 weekly manpower, more weekly stability, just why World Goals goes even further down. Holy crap. Plus 0 0.5, more compliance, a reasonable request. Cool. Other comments. Uh, yes. Oh, Treasure Trove, you like to read about this? Great, 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 great. Uh, I'll come over here, because actually I closed out the Constitution window, apparently. So, actually the Constitution window is right here. Our Constitution. So, I closed out of it, so it's good that we actually opened that. Actually, I discovered that after I we ended yesterday's video. But anyways, Texas Elongated Deliberations Desk adds suffrage to the Constitution. No one's going to vote. Wait, people get to vote? They have the freedom to vote? What? Nah. Of course they will. Maybe. Anything here? None. Freedoms of speech. More political power. Right to bear arms. Freedom of movement. Oh, what does that do? Subject to autonomy gain plus 3%. More infrastructure production speed. Right to private something. Uh, more industrial capacity. More consumer goods. Right to bear arms. Mobilization speed. More resistance targets. Freedom of speech. Um, I kind of like the right to bear arms. Because I like bear arms. They're pretty furry. They got some claws on them. Mobilization speed's okay. I don't want more resistance, so we're probably not going to do that. Anything here? We already have freedom of... Oh, we already have freedom of speech. Oh, we, we can throw on more stuff. Oh. Freedom of movement? Eh, why not? And here, right to... I'm not sure what this is. Pri eh, it's fine. Private ownership. Okay. Article 2. Appointment of judges. Power to veto. It'll get plus point two more political power. I like that. That's not bad. Do we have another one? No, that's it. Provisions for education. So we already have election of officers. Daily command multiplier gain. This is, this is really cool. I love doing this stuff. More conscription or we lose the ability. Separation of powers. Let's get conscription. Unless there's another one we can throw on there too. No. Equality and uniformity of, of uh, taxation. Captain income plus 15%. These are really awesome. Factory efficiency. More conscription factor but less flat caps income, mandated funding, emergency relief. Let's get a taxation of something. And then, man, I'm going to save the other one. So let's close out of that for now. I think we're done seeing that. Let's grab some research, because that's actually, I think that's a really awesome addition to the, the mod. Holy cow, for the Provisional Republic of Texas. That seems really, really awesome. I like that a lot. And we have some coffee here as well to keep us nice and jovial, we'll say. Jovial, yeah, jovial. So yeah, the goal is to create all the different states. Obviously, we got to unify Texas. We'll get pretty much a good chunk of New Mexico with the defeat of uh, uh, the rest of the Legion. Obviously, we want to get Colorado finished as well because they're they're just a giant mess. So we'll get California. I'm probably going to make one mass of Mexico, but of course, it's going to be led by Texas because why not? Also, you see this just because I am building up right now. Ooh, you know what? We're going to lower their autonomy. I am building up all these. Lannis quite a bit, so this way he has a lo very long way to go to raise his autonomy. Cornerstone in Texas, we have to sign the Constitution. Okay, we'll do that one soon. I want to get down to Manifest Destiny quickly. Form a Department of Defense. The first clamoring of our people will always be safety and security. An army by the people, for the people, will help calm their fears. Oh, more military factories for us? Uh, we got plenty of guns. I guess we'll get some more doggos. Oh, we need more planes. Oh, we're gonna need more water. Hmm. It's fine. But we gotta research that stuff. So, alright, well, we're pretty much done, so let's go to our constitution. And, okay, so we have emergency relief funds, flat income. Well, let's probably flat income minus 10%, but we get more conscription factor and factory efficiency. Okay. Mandated funding, I guess. Suffrage, do people wanna vote? Suffrage of man, 1% stability, suffrage of woman. Um. What? I guess we have to choose one sex or one gender. I guess I'll go with man. I don't know. Oh, do we have nothing here? Oh, right to, oh yeah, they, they should definitely have to have the right to bear arms. 
Is there anything that we missed? That's really cool. Sign. Are you sure you want to sign the Constitution when signed? It may no longer be editable. Why not? Cho Bang. Love it. Oh, we could have played it as Rusk as well, but you know, whatever. Uh, we will kick out Uni Unity of Austin eventually as well. I'm surprised we don't have claims on them. Or they, we don't even get to unify with them. That seems kind of weird that they're in our faction. And we're we're pretty much allies, right? With, uh, when they're in our faction. We, they should have had an option to join the Provisional Republic of Texas. And then institute a clause of like expanding the definition of human. And giving them rights within the Constitution. I think that would have been actually a really cool thing. Maybe that'll come in the future, maybe? I don't know. But that seems like a kind of a missed opportunity with Unity of Austin to unify, of course, the Brotherhood and Lone Star, but then Unity of Austin if it still exists. I think something like that should probably be included in the future. But that's just me. Who am I? I'm just a small YouTuber. Sort of. Yeah, I'm building them up a lot. Holy cow. If that's the case, let's go ahead and start building these guys up as well. Sorry, that was cool. This way we have a really, really good defensive line always here. Let's see. Refugees landing says conquest over our neighbors has displaced many of those living in the area. They've recently settled in large tents just inside of our borders. They seek protection and the freedoms that we offer. As their numbers grow, they ask for a, guardian, a guarantee in our constitution. Support these refugees. We need to set aside some funds and set our news of our support will surely spread. We welcome them with open arms. Oh, wait. We get an article slot to them? Wait, why does this, what does this happen now? We just signed the constitution. We cannot support them here? Everyone else gets more manpower, more, more resistance. Um, I don't really care. That's fine, I suppose. I, I really don't care, to be honest with you. We've already signed the Constitution, so it doesn't even matter. We've got plenty of money, so. I'm um, look, 2,000 caps. Psh, whatever. Alrighty, tidy. Let's grab some of this. More land out attack is always super bueno. 2.27 a day. Gosh darn. From Night Sa Swallows, Freedom of Speech, Charles Sturgeon, Texan Confederate Air Force, Texas Constitution gives us point three more. Oh, the mercenary model, the deputy model is really cool, but we'll do this if we have the same focus tree when we play the Texan Brotherhood. So deputies for deputies for deputies for deputies. The mercenary model. We've been lucky to inherit the economic prowess of Lone Star, meaning we're best off hiring mercenaries in a similar fashion. I like to do this one. That cornerstone of Texas still can wait though. It can definitely wait. Propulsion charge advancements. Let's grab some better doggos because we got to put down a lot of people where we're headed. Industrial support. So be it. So we're done mostly training, which is nice. You guys are not really doing much. If you guys. Okay, if you want to go to war with Mexico's or the Free Fighters too, that's totally fine with me. And if you don't want to support where you, uh, your soldiers, that's fine. Totally fine with me. You guys come down here and do bomb, 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 bomb. Uh, I should do that one. There you go. And since you guys are not doing too much, I'm going to recommend you guys do sort of the same thing. Somewhere else. <laughs> Expression for technology. Just go and find a leader. That's fine. Doesn't that really matter. Race to the sea. Let's grab some preemptive interception. Very bueno. And, oh, look, Rapid Response Corps. I don't know if I really want to call them the Rapid Response Corps anymore. We'll see what happens. Good, even more divisions. We ran out of unique names for divisions. That's how many divisions we have, we've got. Charles Biggins, Gun Nut. I see Nut. I see, wow. Anyone who's... Uh, that's not bad. Hoarder, you get better logistics, a little bit less supply. I'm looking for anyone who has inspirational. Oh. Found scale, Lafayette Phillips. Monsieur Lafayette. 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 Uh, you probably don't need to go down to Mexico. We'll start doing stuff about the Scrapper's Compact. Cool. And good, good, good. And you guys. Nice. Go to war whenever we want. So you guys are going to be attacking quite a bit. Resistance would. Um. Okay, if everyone is going to go to war with these guys, we might as well join in the fight, right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> at the very least, we got to get at least uh, t you know, all of t normal Texas under us. We probably won't be able to court, but that's fine. After that, we'll probably go to war with these guys. The scrappers come back. 150 days. Holy cow. Nice. Wait, Lanius. Um, we're good, Lanius. Wow, 3,800 monies. I'll go and do that too. That's fine. Oh, we need to begin a scavenging program. That's fine. We can go ahead and clamp down on some autonomy. We have enough political power for that. Let's get some, maybe some more war support, perhaps. I get more stability too. That's not bad. I like stability a lot. 
Militarized society? No, it doesn't really help us with, with that too much. Anything else? New citizen secure package, let's definitely do that. Invest into the military, military academy, go ahead and do that too, because we can. Mercenary model. Manifest destiny. The people of this land around us cry for our help. Oppressed by maleficent savages and cruel masters, we have a duty to, to them and ourselves. 15% reduction of quarrying costs on definite areas. Replace Department of Defense with better Department of Defense. Better, better, better. Texas Constitution modifier. Oh, look at that. Wow. Master impact plus 0.3. Be more resistant star gets more daily compliance gain. Passive income income of caps goes down. Much faster stuff. Wartime administration. Uh, let's go and listen to the part. The secret meeting. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. This happens almost every single campaign, so I'm not too worried about it. Cool. Father's influence, Texas Economic Union, which we still have for some reason. Department of Defense. Oh, we get organization. That's cool. Nice. No, guys, we good. Oh, we actually lost something here, huh? How, how are we doing? I'm not even. I'm not even paying attention. Uh, you guys are kind of bored, actually. So that's fine. If that's the case, I will send you guys over. Oh, this is a mess. This is a giant mess. Go right there. Actually, probably just let time go on. Two, three, four. I'll probably use special forces on the main front here too, so that'd be fine. Cool. Really not too worried, Captain Aaron Saunders, the person who was in Lubbock for quite a while. He's, he's using infantry rooted. There's, he's got a lot of traits. I like he's got that he's got a ton of traits. He, he was an exiled leader. Okay. I'm going to get more land out of tech and reconnaissance. I still like that a lot. Because right now they have like how much reconnaissance? Nine? So, yeah. Not bad. Alright, let's see. Who's doing the most work? They have 84 two divisions. Economic resurgence. Very cool. We have 144. We have a lot of divisions. Not nearly as many as Kaiser. We've done 27% of the work. As well as Moctezuma's done like 63%, so he's going to get a good old chunk of Mexico, but not all of Mexico. He doesn't deserve all of it. No, no, no. Wow, we got a lot of manpower. Other comments. Other comments. Let's see. Constitution window we did. Texas decisions are strong. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we have any more, probably, maybe. Oh, I think they hunt Marler up smell we're good. We still need to do all this stuff, so these are pretty strong. We need to get advanced ballistic weaponry. Uh, save infrastructure for later. Rusk. If we chose Rusk, he could have given us a lot more manpower, which would have been cool, but whatever. I think we're kind of okay for now. Let's see. Rename our motorized divisions and make puppet states. Well, obviously, I've already shown you that we do already have puppet states. No, thank you. I already know about trade and resources. Thank you very much. Oh, we still have some guys down there. Oh, we need more water now. God dang it. Oklahoma cleared one of the scrappers. Okay, well... Is there really any point for me to just find them then? Let's go and cancel it then. 110 days, that's fine. That's actually probably a little bit faster. Alright, so obviously we gotta get all of normal text, but we're gonna take a little sliver of Mexico too. So I'm gonna give this territory to probably Kaiser, and give a whole chunk of this to Moctezuma. Nice. I love Texas. Obviously, there's parts of Texas you probably don't want to live in, but you can say that about any state, any location in the world. We lost. Not that many guys. We lost, like, nobody. Mo uh, Moctezuma's killed off 17,000. We've killed off 15,000. Jesus Christ. Cybernetic enhancements. Nice. We're pretty much done here for now. Unless we can become advanced, which I don't think we can. Grab some better anti-tank. That is muy bueno. And... Plain stuff. Land auction, of course, is finished as well. Very good. Let's grab some of this. Because I love the bombs. Twice in two lifetimes. Reynosa is ours. Death to Santa Ana. Viva Mexico. Well, I don't know about Viva Mexico. I mean, maybe. Actually, you know what? Viva Mexico. Because we will take Mexico for us. For ourselves. And we will make them a Texan puppet. We have a lot of militia for being a, a robotic nation. But hey, that's just me. Oh, you guys invaded up here? Oh, you left. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, they gotta give up, right? They have only 24 divisions left. Guys, would you like to continue attacking? That'd be great! Right on up there, man. Oh, what? They got McAllen back. Go! Uh, guys, go! <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna do is this. I'm gonna go and take the parts of Texas that we deserve, obviously. Uh, TAA. 
but yeah, I'll definitely get that area. We well, could give this to Unity of Awesome, but as we've seen before, they don't, they probably don't really deserve too much stuff, so let's give Kaisar his due goods for now until we have to kill them off as well. I think it's only like that, maybe. There you go. Moctezuma, you can have all the rest, but we're not going to give you all that, because I want Gloria. There you go. Which puts us at odds with them for later on, so. There you go. Freed slaves from Mexico, AD 840. Very nice. Very, very nice. Another division. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you guys are fighting. That's right. Oh, that's a case. Preemptive interception. That's not good. Alright, so that means we gotta do something like this. It doesn't really matter to me too much. Give me half, you guys. Come right here as well. Oh, God. I don't like waterways. Oklahoma's like the New Mexico. Oh, the waterways. Cool. And there we go. Nice. Good stuff. Man, oh, I love Manifest Destiny. Cornerstone of Texas. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, possum. We might not need that many divisions. I should take those guys out. Really, the next group we should probably take out is Pecos Colony, of all things. So, we're going to do it like this. Because we need this part of Texas back. Like, you can't be independent. Even though Texas strives to be independent. Ooh, the second battle for Hoover Dam. Nice, the Baron Bull at each other's throats once again. Very good. You can have your independence, but under us. Exactly. I'm glad that you agreed to our proposition here. Vera. Very good. All right, so let's cut you guys down to half. Actually, I'm just like them all. It's fine. It's a little easier doing it like this. There you go. And then, boom, Pecos, you are going to go bye bye, and become one with a Texan Brotherhood. No, Provisional Republic of Texas. Cornerstone of Tejas. Don't mind if we do. Mexico will be Texan. Later, there, zones. Don't mind if we do. Of course, I don't really want to keep this area. Actually, you know what? Let's We could probably liberate the Republic of the Rio Grande. Because having a republic down here instead of Santa Ana leading Mexico would make a lot more sense since we are already a republic. So let's go ahead and liberate the Republic of the Rio Grande. And we basically will give them all the Mexican territories that we eventually will control. Unfortunately, we have to give them other parts of Texas first. But they're not going to keep that, obviously. Texas is Texas is Texas. This is why I use a state transfer tool mod. Because sometimes you just gotta do it like that. Now, that is a pretty good Texas. It's not perfect, obviously, but Austin. Okay, maybe I was wrong in the beginning. Austin joins the Texan Republic. While well, it remained to be seen whether the city of Austin would join us with the recent victory against the remnants of Addis' army has put them into a position where they no longer have to fear for the survival. Thus, Keats has been the, begun the necessary work needed for proper integration of Austin into the new Republic. Welcome to the fold. Welcome to Texas. We annex them and we get cores. Hey, we get Super Mutant Auxiliaries. The, the devs already thought about it. Thank you, devs. Thumbs up for me. Oh, the Texan Defense Bureau is an intelligence agency. They'll begin a number of agency upgrades without a cryptography department. While an army will do plenty for us, an intelligence bureau might help us protect us from more invisible threats. A lone assassin can deal more damage than an army of mutants, and we'd be fools to look past the danger of either. Beautiful. Wow. I was not expecting that, I'll be completely honest. Oh, we gotta get more stuff down here. Oh, honestly, we probably don't need these forts anymore, so, Lanius, your autonomy is gonna go way down right now, so good luck with that. We'll build up a lot of civilian factories down here. That's fine, let's go and do this as well. Reclamation Authority, thank you. Let's come down here and grab some power stations. Actually, that's some more water, because we're probably lacking a little bit of, yeah, we're definitely lacking water, which is not bueno. In addition, we can probably get some water through this, that'd be good. Awesome. I'm, I, I love Texas now. I love the uh, little campaign here we've got. We're doing pretty darn well. Anyone here to help us get better just by Wurgles Times Army XP gains? Okay. Division recovery rate. That is not bad. 12% is not bad. Reconnaissance. I like Catherine Turney. I like her. She's not bad. I like this one too, but we can't do that one. Obviously, if this is the case, I'm going to go with Turney so we can get an operative slot. More encryption, decryption, counterintelligence, intel network strength gain factor plus 50%. It just makes sense that we should probably grab her. All right, down here, Economic Advisor, Union Financier. Resource Efficiency Gain's not bad. I don't like losing stability, though. 
in exchange for that. Max Factory is in a state. It's not bad either, but we probably have enough factories at this point anyways. Factory output, resource efficiency gain, and infrastructure construction speed is not bad. I kind of like that expedition leader. Might as well. Charlie Morgan, why not? You're hired. Uh, production stuff, Foreign Texas Defensive Bureau, Diplomatic Training, Fire... Oh, wow, we got a lot of stuff done. Holy crap, that's awesome. Don't mess with Texas. We could, we could do that. Let's do the form of the TBR. The bounty of Texas is both great and underutilized. Now that we've got something of a steady grip on the territories, we should make a dedicated section of government that can rebuild our fledgling state. Yes, please. Just in case. Let's not, let us not forget that we need air bases probably up here, too. There we go. And just in case, for the future, let's build some air bases there. And over there. And over here. And all across these guys, because we're going to need to really boost them up in the future. Awesome, awesome. Let's grab some... Actually, let's grab some more of this stuff. We'll probably use some power stations, you know, probably. Economic resurgence, great! Actually, who's leading the Republic of the Rio Grande? Ah, Dante Guerra. Rio's burning heart. I played as these guys once. I don't know if I played as... I forget who I played as. Hmm. Mexico's greatest failure. Or maybe it was Dante. I think it was. Could be wrong. History repeats itself. Cool. Hopefully they can do a lot of good work down there. We still get 2.5 a day. Gosh darn. It's amazing. Come on, guys. Beat them up. Come on. We still got like 15, 25 days left, so... Not bad. How about everyone do that when you're ready? Oh, do you not have that? Oh, boy. Take the two pads. Great. Secure mission control. Great. Let the gas flow. Great. Form the TBR. Even greater. Oh, let's do this one. Now that the Raiders are out of the way, we can begin refurbishing the old Carthage gas fields, supplementing our power supplies with a hefty natural gas income. Nice. Texas Highway Patrolman, thank you very much for understanding understanding what we do here. Thank you very much. If you guys want to go and do this, that's fine for now. It doesn't really matter to me. Y'all come right there. Thank you very much. You guys go right here. Let time go on because we can. Boom. Infrastructure. Now we got to pause it again. Whatever. non logical bombing. That's the one I remember the most the most frequently one most frequent one I remember in that there you go thank you thank you thank you now let time go on again don't like being so close to Kaiser but whatever inspirational absolutely all right so actually we should have I don't know why I guess 125 days is fine but I'm just don't exactly understand why we don't have core territories on that, maybe? Maybe they're just too far apart from us or something? I don't know. Because we get a whole Texas and we got New Mexico we gotta go back to and Colorado. Hopefully we can get, Oh, look! Malaya is here. Malaya. But I really want to have really, really, really fast justify war goals times as, as much as possible. Major businesses. Uh, Free much fixtures. Civilian factory. All this stuff. Cheap weapons. Oh, no. Explosive company. Robotic manufacturers. We're probably not going to be using that. Uh, probably, this one is always good to get. 10% more is always good. Let me go with the Glory Flyers. I like the ground attack. I really, really do. I got plenty of gliders. Let's see if we got any more. Because not every place. There we go. Good. Bake us here next. Nips. Oh, maybe I should not have started justifying. That's fine. Whatever. Give us a few days and we're going to unify all of Oklahoma under one government. And expand that natural gas and stuff like that here, too. We do that, thank you. Cut you guys down in half, and uh, there you go. Cut you in half, and then uh, there it goes. Well, uh, the Rio Trade. Rio's approached us with a trade agreement which will bring prosperity to both our states. Thank God they didn't elect Mora, right? Huh? He would have probably tried to conquer us after Mexico. Very good. There you go. Throw these guys over here, and actually, I'm going to see this. There you go. Alright guys, this is getting a little pathetic. Can you please finish off them, please? Texas calling? Yes, please. Radio, cell phone lines, broadcasting, and amplification stations, all part of what could be a wide range and chain of information infrastructure, spanning the whole of Texas. Oh! Yeah, probably Santa Ana's gonna get a little larger. Or not the Free Fighters, I mean. Santa Ana's dead. Santa Ana's gone. You guys are seriously taking way too long for this stuff, man. I don't want to wait any longer. I'm a little impatient, as you can see. Uh, there you go. You're going up there. Through. So, how strong are these guys? Now nah, we good. 19 divisions ain't that strong. So, 190 days. That's a little bit too long layered. Air zones, cool. Now nah, we good. Let's grab some of this. Unorthodox interception routes. Very, very good. Uh, 
I'm not even going to be worried about this. More attack, yes, please. A skill, plus 20%. Nice. Because, Connie, please, can we just go to war with you now, please? Oh, why do it take so long? I don't like that. I really don't like that. And we got to liberate Louisiana, too. Very, very good. Uh, I might download a mod, actually, that lets us justify war goals against enemies much faster. Because at this point in the campaign, we just want to probably go to war and kill off as many people as we want. Actually, Free Fighters are not doing that well, even though they the Legion is trying to beat up the NCR. So, huh. Because I would like to see Texas, Oklahoma, Colorado, New Mexico, a uh, pretty unified Mexico, California, Arizona. So, we got a lot of states to take out, so this campaign is going to be lasting just a little bit longer than I expected, but whatever. What area is still need to be core? A lot of Texas. A lot of Texas. And it doesn't really matter to me. It's going to take a lot of political power to core all of Texas, but whatever. Hey, treasure trove. Nice. Very, very nice. Help settlements. You can do that. Rebuild the gas fields. No mind if we do. Four, get plus 10% resource efficiency gain. 20% more synthetic oil. Energy still gain per energy. 100%. Holy crap. Energy still capacity plus 100%. Oh, yes, please. Texas calling. Oh, my gosh. For 240 days, when we get that, when it gets removed. For 240 days, though, we lose 15% consumer goods factories. We lose 20% construction. Texas calling. That. Oh, my goodness. Refurbish old satellites. With mission control in our grasp, we can start dusting off some of the old satellites that we've been preserving in storage since the war. Weather, GPS, and spy satellites will give us an unmatched edge on the battlefield. Houstonian satellites. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're not going to give anything to the scrappers. I think it's probably best if we take all of Oklahoma. And I'll, I'll fix up the states, like, off-screen when we're done here, too. So, Breed slaves. 480 more manpower. Thank you very much. Send out some scavengers with that. War propaganda. Might as well, because we could always use more. Uh, new citizens care package because we can. Subways, invest stimulus in Houston. Yes. The pass. Where's the pass? Oh, it's over there. I don't really feel like. Eh, actually, you know what? Let's help them out. Why not? They're our ally. It's always good to help out your ally. And at this point, research. Yeah, we can do more research stuff, but whatever. Alright, let's so go we'll build, 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 build. Nick's in town, huh? Very, very good. Moctezuma, hmm. The Rio Grande doesn't have any... Oh, they do have some cores on some of this territory. I think next uh, request increase in production ca capacity. Alright, that's fine, whatever. How many factories do we need? Oh, we need 17 more. That's quite a bit more. I'm not sure if we can actually achieve that. Oh, we got places down here, so... That should be enough, right? So that's 9. 17... Uh, there you go, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Increase about 5, do that, do that. Doesn't really matter. Cool. So we took these guys out pretty easily, right? Basic generators, advanced generators. I think at this point, you guys... Economic resurgence, great news. We're gonna go to war with New Sterling to help the warden out. We'll come down here to take out Dog City as well. The things are gonna take some time. The fall of Chichen Itza. Cool. Actually, that's really good for us. Who's that? Oh, wait. Oh! Lanny's Gore. They took that over? Uh, I don't know, man. Give that back, because uh, you shouldn't own that area. I'm just saying. I'm sorry, guys. I know you want it, but... Oh, what the heck? Free Fighters did that, too? Wow. Alright, let's go ahead and do clear the way. Shipping by rail will never be safe until the Raiders have been cleared out, and it will never be efficient until we can secure a fable drop for the lines. Oh, I'm going to offer the Patrolman's Core Territories, but then again, I guess it doesn't really matter now, since they're probably gone, so... Cool. Awesome. Oh, what the heck? No, we don't need to see that. Uh, we don't need to see that either. Yeah, at this point, technology, we're going to research as much as we can, but it doesn't really matter, like, if we get it in time too much at this point, so that's okay. Cool. We did that. Let's come back over here. I, I'm glad we got a lot of this stuff done, but watch it for spies. Thank you. Operations... Well, if I send him out to two places, that'd be good, but whatever. Okay, so Pecos, you've got to be willing, ready to go to war within, like, literally three weeks now. That's good. That's good. Refurbished O satellites, so we get refurbished Houstonian satellites. 25% more air range. Uh, division speed does what? Plus 10%. Encryption plus 100%. Decryption plus 100%. Civilian intelligence plus 25%, as well as army intelligence and naval intelligence. Yes, please. Yes. Advanced ballistic weaponry. Yes, please. Because... As much as I love revolvers, we should probably advance ourselves, right? Right? We can only get 352. That's not enough money. Never enough money. Stimulus. Uh, investment. We can get some more army XP because we can. Clear the way, and then we shall uh, seize Louisiana Harbor. 
Cool. Our current ability to project navally is less than ideal. While this isn't a problem now, it could quickly become one if we were engaged by a naval power in the Gulf. Uh, the first place we could use to remedy this is the impressive wharfs and shipyards of Bayou Motors. It might step into the future. Awesome. Research speed plus 10%. Not bad. Not bad. We got more war goals against whom? Oh, the patrolmen. Oh, they're over there. Oh, yeah. We'll just kick them out then. Hey, our soldiers are kind of busy. We'll take them out soon enough once we probably take out Pecos Colony and we have extra soldiers lying around. Pecos. What? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, we're not just fighting anyone. The cannery? Yeah, we must just find them too. 50, 55 days. God dang, that's so good. We'll call you guys in too, because we gotta go that way. Now oh, we'll call you guys in too. There you go. Oh, they already asked to come in, but whatever. Pecos? Very good, very good. We went. Oh, we need to take out these guys too. Watch out for spies. Well, we got 55 days, so that's not too bad. More divisions? Oh, God, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. Hey! Wow, the Legion is really touching Mexico something fierce. Detection avoidance, very good. Wow, even more divisions? Don't mind if we do. Of course, it's going to cost us more to do this, but that's alright. Good. Alright, what's going on? 160... So so, oh, divisions taking 63 losses. They've lost about 3,000 guys in Pecos. It's fine with us. We're only using infantry down here, which is okay. Not ideal, but whatever. Pecos is going to fall. And good. 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 No more radar for you, and they should be gone. <sighs> now that's a little thick to be Texas, but whatever. You guys come over here. We should have them pretty easily, but we'll see what happens. Enough radar, enough infrastructure, stuff like that. Oh, we can core this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess the Mont. Actually, Houston would probably be better to core. Let's go. Actually, they don't have that much more manpower. They do have more resources, though. Whatever. We'll core it all eventually, anyways. Not too worried about it. Cool. Kick them out. Kick them out. Seize Louisiana Harbor. Good, good, good. Build the Trans-Texan uh, line. The landscape is dotted with old metal spawns. What used to be an incredibly complex and durable network of rail lines, while we may not be able to recapture that might, with an overhaul of existing lanes and the construction of new ones, we can certainly pay homage to it. Yes, please. That would be very bueno. Myrlurks. Actually, did we get the other one back? No, it doesn't look like one. Scans with vehicles, sure. Ruthless drills. No, we good. We good. Simulating training, because why not? Mm, kill amp down on autonomy. We're pretty good right now. 2.54. And get these soldiers over here. That'd be great. You guys head on up to somewhere else. Right there. Why not? Boom, boom, boom. Watch out for spas. Naval department. Advanced wall pumps. Let's grab some basic aquifers. How are we doing on... Oh, that's not bad. We're doing better. That's good. We're doing a little better. Record that too if you want to. That's fine with me. And we have outside clear war on the boss royalty. Very good. So we're just applying on these guys, which is good. Then we'll go to war the scrappers, which will be even muy bueno. Oh, we can't go to war with them. Oh, we have a truce. Oh. Until March. Oh, in about a week. That's fine. Combat boxes. Let's grab some night bombings. Because we can. Good to focus on a naval doctrine, but that'll be later on. Mm, everyone's pretty much poised to go. We got some radar down here, which helps build a trans-Texan line. Very good. And start shipping in the Gulf. The Gulf of Mexico's unique shape would give us an unrivaled ability to trade with the nations all along its coast, should we have sufficient facilities to house and produce seafaring cargo ships. Nice. Awesome. So, let's come back over here. So this way, we cannot be pretty much attacked. In the east... Oh, that's a long time to justify on those guys. Holy crud. That's a very long time, but whatever. Yeah. Until, like, of course more of the east, eastern part of the United States is uh, added into the game. Oh, wait, what? Take conquered states, claim states. This is fine. It doesn't really matter. I think we'll probably do okay anyways. Advanced generators. Let's grab some basic power plants because we can. Very, very, very good. If you want to join in the war, so be it. Join in the fun. Let's see, losses, 9 guys, Naval Department, 255, they have a total of 24 divisions, total, 
So, yeah, I'm not really too worried about that too much. If you want to get all down to the cannery, that'd be great. Take out Lafayette, that'd be fine. Build the transsection line. Oh, every own state. Oh my goodness, four infrastructure? No wonder you guys told me to wait on that. That's really smart, but I'm not going to take that yet, because the more territory that we take, the... What is it? Technically, then you get more infrastructure everywhere else, so... Might be worth waiting. Oh, they want to escape? Ten divisions? Nah, we good. Can you guys force the attack? There you go. It's not great, but it'll work. Hey, the cannery's gone. Thank you. Bye, you motors. So that Louisiana's done, which I will actually liberate Louisiana probably under, even though we have claims on them. It doesn't really matter to me. I want as much of Louisiana to exist as possible for now. Um, ship, start shipping in the Gulf. Not bad, not bad. Maybe take out these guys too, eventually. Because now it looks like we probably got to go to war with Kai Zaw's Legion eventually, so. Uh, sure, that's fine. Getting through our focus streak quite quickly. Don't mess with Texas. All in name, baby. Our armor's guns just aren't quite some, enough sometimes, which is where our oversized and overpowered fighters come in. Scavengers return triumphant for a bonus of research for them stuff called robots, so be it. And strategic destruction. Don't mind if we do. What do we got? We could do that. Begin shipping in the Gulf. Oh, that's not bad. Hey, more political power gain. Gosh darn, that's so much. I'm not complaining. I love it, but still. Why not? We'll do both. Ooh, Midwest section, manual prospectors, cool, why not? Mm, new citizen stuff, invisible ink, cool. Any partisan? New citizen care package, might as well invest in the cannery. I guess we can, why not? We have a lot of money. I'm still getting paid 331. Alright, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and release who? Bayou Motors or. Actually, let's take a look. So up to here and here. So we got Desperados, Texan Brotherhood. Desperados. I kind of like the Gator Maws. Bayou Motors. Bayou Motors. Economic Resurgence is great. What do we got over here? Oh, Common Weaponry. Nice. Very good. We need more scrap, actually, huh? Cool. And then don't mess with Texas. Texan Aerial Superiority. The Texan Commemorative Air Force was a large organization before the war, strangely enough determined to safeguard the history of aviation. Let us revive this tradition in full and with a few more specialized applications too. The sky is ours. So let me know in the comments below, should I liberate the patrolman for Louisiana or Bayou Motors? I guess you could say the Gator Maws, but really I think either Bayou Motors or the patrolman should be the leaders of Louisiana. Let me know in the comments below. And we're done with everything here except for the right side of the tree. Text the hand is, or the head decides. It's now time to take, make a critical choice. A first head of state will be swung or sung into the history books, as well as determining the opening plays of our nation. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and grab some more of this engineering. Now we good. Let's grab some boundaries, basic smelt trees. That'd be very bueno. We only get 2.54 political power a day. That's all we get. That's not enough. Oh my goodness, six two more months. How how why? Yeah, I probably got to download a sub mod so we can uh, go to war much faster because we got a lot of countries, a lot of different things we got to take out. But Texas is not looking bad. Well, it's kind of extended Texas with it, with our hat. Hey, the head decides. Ba Bang's plan. Bang makes a persuasive point. A flourishing people will base itself around prosperity, as was Lone Star's model. A great societal innovation will be wealth, unlike that have been ever seen before in the wasteland. Very good. We don't even have 100% stability yet, which is kind of weird, but okay. Oh, good. Keep killing each other, guys. That'd be great. Let's grab some brick housing. Don't mind if we do. Let's get some more divisions in. Thank you very much. If you guys want to train right now, that's fine. Oh, you guys already trained until you all were good and good. Awesome. More stimulus in Houston? Why not? Mm. Grain stuff, huh? Monthly population? That's not bad. How much do we get a month? About a, a little less than a thousand, a little more than nine hundred. Not bad. Bang's plan. All right then. And let's go with measured in wealth. The largest factor in success is the presence of wealth in a nation. Constant comparison of ourselves to our neighbors will help us gauge our power as well as plan for the future. Not bad. Good clamp down on autonomy, but I want to core more stuff if we can. Liberty City exploration for technology. Why not? Volatile shock market. New Liberty City. That's fine with me. Cha Ching. Yeah, we don't need all, all the extra manpower. We got a few, probably a few more factories from doing from doing this as well. 
totally fine for me. Come on, I just want to get these guys done so we can liberate Oklahoma. More divisions? We probably could start cutting down on divisions, actually. There you go, basic power plant. Let's go ahead and grab you. Fabrication factor, Reno's. Government staff for schools. Yeah, I started cutting down divisions. It's going to cost us more, so. And we're actually going to lose, like, caps income eventually, too, so. 2.3, go and stop training. We're about ready to go to war, probably. Which would be very, very nice. Oh, well, they don't have full strength, which is fine with us. Eh, they're about 20 combat width. That's not bad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Let's just go to war. Can I go to war with these guys, too? Please let me go to war. 185. Uh, gosh darn days. Holy. Holy moly. I don't think these guys get more territory or infrastructure expansion, so. Definitely build up Colorado. Nice. And Lanius, I suppose, as well. So it's good to build up a lot of roads. Old world computer's gone, so be it. Measured in wealth, very good. And let's go and do invasive capitalism. The accum accumulation of capital will be the single measure of success. Competition is king in the markets and will drive that competition into every aspect of Texan life, bringing a meritocracy unlike anything ever seen before. Brick housing, don't mind if we do. Let's grab some. Oh, Chickasaw. We're going to go to war for Chickasaw. Scrap shacks. Ooh, excavation would be probably pretty good to do as well. Let's go ahead and immediately start justifying on the Iron Alliance next. It shouldn't take that long. 105 days, god dang, that's, a, that's quite a while. Naval adoption's not bad. Just immediately go and do that. Actually, how long would it take for us to go to war with these guys, too? Um, at that point, yeah, you might as well. Cool. And goodbye. It shouldn't take that long to kill these guys off, right? Before we, let's pause it real quick, get some gliders. Actually, we've got plenty of monoplane fighters, actually. Of any of all things, monoplane fighters not bad, 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 bad. Every group's got some planes, which is nice. One, two, three. Throw them over there. Not bad. Oh, they came over here. That's fine. Whatever. Doesn't really matter how many men have we lost. Forty-six versus two thousand. Can we raise it up to three thousand? Pop a four thousand. We got three thousand. Four thousand? Nope. Well, they probably did. Cool, but I think that's where we're going to end today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know who I should liberate in Louisiana. And I guess, thank you very much. Uh, did I say if you should leave a like or not? Eh, whatever, you guys leave plenty of likes, and you, plenty of you guys have subscribed already, and probably checked out my Discord link anyways. But hope you enjoyed it regardless. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.